still is doing his thing now. Shield Omega. Okay. I assume that's going to be too expensive uh, to use with any regularity. Let's see. Sun Shield Omega 20. Hmm, that's not. Oh, it's okay because it's effectively Sun Shield Sigma. So good to see you again. <clears throat> you finally, finally come. Lucas, you always struck me as a bit of a crybaby, but you've grown so strong. Bony, you came with them all this way. Good boy. Shake. Shake! tricks let's see this slightly plain looking fellow what was it again oh yes duster I knew your name I was only teasing it's a pleasure to meet you duster I know very well that your fate lies in helping cute little Lucas here. Kumatora, I've watched you since you were very little, but this is the prettiest you've ever been now. You're absolutely fabulous. I know you might say, cut that crap out, but it's the truth. By the by, what's in the jar you have there? It looks easy to drop and easy to roll. Hand it over the jar of young pickles. Oh, fabulous. My absolute favorite, yummy pickles. You brought them all the way here for me? Thank you. These pickles will be the last thing I eat before I vanish. I'm going to really enjoy them. You don't need to say anything. I understand. Five needles have been pulled now. Aeolia, Doria, Lydia, Phrygia, Phrygia? Yeah. And Mixie. I mean, Mixolydia. They've all disappeared now that the time has come. And now it's my turn. That leaves only my needle in Chuppy Chupyoy Temple. I butchered that. And the one missing needle. Now, adorable little Lucas, go to Chupi Chupioi Temple. I don't think I'm going to pronounce that one anymore. The temple is covered in vines frozen in time. You can't get inside with them as they are. You'll need to sprinkle these waters of time on them.
<clears throat> if you're tired, rest here for a bit. Thank God, needed that. <sighs> okay, you should probably hurry. The time is now. Go. Oh, Mr. Saturn. Polished into shiny sparkle thing. <clears throat> no worries. I give back to you. I forgot about that. The courage badge was none other than a Franklin badge. You got the Franklin badge. Farewell, farewell. That'll actually be pretty useful, I imagine. Just a... Okay. <clears throat> I wonder how that's gonna work out. In disguise. Oh, present. Magic tart. Big Mask Colonel and his cohorts. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I'm gonna start with the Shield Omega. or drop their defense. And the offense down. Um, let's hit a major with staples. Excellent. <laughs> 
Oh! <clears throat> I didn't think that was gonna work. I was wondering if I just got really good luck before, and it seems like maybe. Hey! I think they're just like regular susceptible. I probably went a little overboard on that fight, but... Oh well. Carve interaction. Now for the real fight. This fight's gonna go. So I guess we'll, we'll just feel this one out, see how well we do. If necessary, come back again. There's no way that works.
Well, maybe not then. Like that to actually work. Or that. Good God. like that.
I was starting to wonder if he was still crying. Um, I talked to Ionia, and I am now fighting the Masked Man. Yeah, 
It's a giant mystery. Surely it's not anyone that we know. Why is there no tooltip for this? Yeah, it's definitely this. There's no way that it's claws, of course. Also, we got the Franklin badge. So the lightning attack that he destroyed us with the first couple of times didn't it, it got rebounded on him Because uh, dinner was finished earlier than I expected it to be. Yes, you did. Ah, shit. Also managed to make the masked man cry. Oh, neat. I'm sure that we will not see that person again. Ever. Here's a Mr. Saturn, by the way. Zucchini. One more potential wall. Farewell, farewell. Rice patty. Seventh time. One last time. Potential. Potential. Okay.
<clears throat> Damn it. What, the Mr. Saturn? I made a mistake tonight. I forgot that the PK Scramble tournament finale is tonight, so I have to watch it later. Oh, the vines were frozen in time, by the way. They're not just like vines. time started flowing again for the vines. Lucas, let's go inside. Why did we get Magnet Omega? It was our Majipsi ancestors who sealed away the Dark Dragon. Majipsis had guarded the Seven Needles for many generations since. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Didn't, um... Didn't, didn't they say previously that these seven Majipsis were the ones who sealed the dragon away? Or am I misremembering that? And yeah, I think this is the last needle. The needles will be pulled when the time comes, and that time is now. The heart of the person who pulls the needles will be passed on to the Dark Dragon. And then something big will happen. Something big enough to recreate the entire world. Lucas, I want you to be the one who awakens the Dark Dragon. To accomplish this, you can't lose or give in, no matter what. Duster. Boney. And Princess Kumatora. Without heartfelt help from you, his friends, he cannot accomplish this task. 
Princess Kumatora, this sai is so dangerous that I never intended to teach it to you. But I'm going to teach it to you right here, right now. Master this dangerous sai technique so that you can help Lucas. Are you prepared? What? Okay. Hey, Starstorm! I don't think we have yet, no. Oh, they're actually out of the party right now. I'm gonna help you from here on out, no matter what happens. I made up my mind just now. That masked man, was he? Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Thanks for the pickles. The dog drool was a bit disconcerting, though. The masked man uh, was you all along. <clears throat> As I start to disappear, my heart senses an intense disturbance. Locria, the final missing Majipsi, is rapidly nearing the sun. Wait, what? The seventh needle. That's what I'm sensing. It's coming from that direction, from a lively, filthy place. Oh, just when I'm about to tell where it is. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm disappearing now. Before I go, here are final mementos of me. A razor and lipstick. Remember me sometimes, okay? Received Ionia's memento. It's too bad I didn't get to see how everything turns out, but... Lucas, Little Boney, Adorable Duster, and Princess Kumatora. Whatever happens, make sure you get to see what the final fate of the world is. Oh, Locria is nearing the Seventh Needle. And we have managed to consistently have these chapters end right in the middle of sessions. Wait, what? Master Lucas, yes. A great leader and new king of the entire world, Master Porky, 
cordially invites you to the greatest city in the world, New Pork City. I will take you there in this stretch limousine, so please step inside. I'm gonna say no. Where Master Porky is concerned, there is no no. So what will you do? You will get inside, won't you? Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna loot that. Of course, I have to walk all the way around. What do you think? It's much more spacious than it appears on the outside, wouldn't you agree? We'll arrive at Newport City shortly, so please relax and enjoy yourselves for a while. Wow. Okay. Spicy, bitter, yucky poison, so kids can't drink it. No, wait. Grown-ups can't drink it either. <sighs> I think I'm painting. Blackjack table? That's not a playable blackjack table, though. Hmm. A nine-foot billiard table. The pockets have been designed to be quite large. It looks like you can play it, but you can't. A tabletop game. It looks like you play it, can play it, but you can't. A stage. It looks like you could sing a song from it, but you can't even get on it. Yes, there it is. Say hello to New Pork City. Chapter 8, All Things. Well, we finally arrived. 
Please watch your step as you exit the car. <clears throat> you haven't forgotten anything, have you? Seeing as this is your first time here, I'll give you this map of the city so you don't get lost. Well then, Master Lucas, I'm sure I'll see you again with a different look. What? Okay. No, I can fly. It would be unfortunate if we forgot, uh, Bony. I know, man. I know all about you. You're here to destroy New Pork City, aren't you? Uh, are, are we? Uh, is that what we're here for? You're free in the city. Master Porky has given you your freedom. Hmm. Welcome, Eidos, to New Pork City. Everyone else came to the city, so I couldn't just stay back there all alone. And I figured there'd be something here for me if I came, but now I don't know. I'm not really sure. Do you feel the same way, Lucas? Oh, Lucas. Did you follow me here for some of my slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies? Because I don't make those anymore. Have you forgotten? Walk, stop, sleep, shout. You're free to do it all. Welcome. I heard from Master Borky that you would be coming here. He says you're quite strong in one way or another. You can go anywhere you want, aside from the 100th floor of the Empire Porky Building. In fact, go have a look around at everything. I saw dangerous things. You want? Damn right I do. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> Apparently, the statue of Master Porky isn't just something to look at in Marvel. More specifically, it's supposedly the divine protector of the city. I also hear some moron somewhere picked a fight with it and wound up in a world of hurt. The smartest, bravest, and toughest chubster of all time. Here stands the statue of our great leader, Master Porky. Do I look like a hermit crop? No, oh, Lucas, we were just practicing our comedy routine. Everyone's here nowadays. <clears throat> so this is where you can see all your old friends again. But do you suppose the forest and Tasmalee and all those other places are empty now? I wonder what's going to happen to them. This is the Empire Porky Building. <clears throat> Headquarters for the Porky Corporation. So you're the ones who... <laughs> no, 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 it's nothing at all. Never mind me. I'll go with Abbott wherever he goes. Even if the world was a four-chapter story, I'd spend all four of those chapters with him. If I were to, say, compare my life to a story, I'd say we're at the start of the 15th chapter out of 16 total. <clears throat> wow. 
Wow, okay. I had no option to fight the statue. Date on a date with Matt in such a long time. <clears throat> this really brings back memories. I hear that you say rude stuff about me. Like I'm not a drunk, that I'm a drunk, and that I'm a booze hound. What are you talking about? I'm just a middle-aged guy with hiccups. Porky go round. <clears throat> I'm a broken slot machine. The Sanchez brothers and the friends are very cheap and cheerful for trio. They will make you happy. Insert one DP. <clears throat> now, Amigo, you won a very big jackpot. Here's a big prize for you, Amigo. Excellent. Everyone convinced me to come to the city, but I feel more dizzy than anything, really. Oh, you're here too, Lucas. I'd love to meet Master Porky someday. He's the person who built this city. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> this city is a real kitty vibe to it. This is the big city life, or is it? It somehow doesn't seem like it. Apparently all the waitresses in the restaurant over there are robots built to look like the mother of some really important person. Oh, this array of artisticness I see before me. The lioness gushing forth from it, the maskness dripping from it, and this nose hairness, and the archaicness? It's so magnificent, it's positively frightening. Donna's a sucker for art. She's been stuck to this spot for what seems like forever now. Maybe time? No. Oh, okay. Feel. Time is finally ripe for us more crickets to try our luck in the big city, you see. Are you an acquaintance of Jackie's by any chance? Could you ask him if he'd be willing to partner with us more crickets to strike it rich? Oh, hey there, Lucas. I was just talking business with this tiny fella here. I'm not really sure what I should do, though. What should I do? This town's filling up with more and more people, but this shop's still as empty as ever. Broken. I'm so broken. 
Nothing that's a done, Jay Dog. There's nothing wrong with being picky. The shop's filled to the brim with pretty girls. Stew bowl, stew curry, stew fried rice, stew egg soup, stew soup. Meh salad with stew topping. Stew lunch, stew combo, stew set, jumbo stew, stew parfait, stew juice, stew special. I don't, I know I don't look like it, but I'm a robot. Fill yourself up with your favorite food and nothing else. That's this restaurant's rule. You people don't fit in with this shop. Ooh, that's expensive. Man, this area stinks. No, it's not me, it's this area. In one sense, you feel completely satisfied. I'm totally owning at this right game right now, so don't talk to me. Don't you dare try to ram into me. Well. Ah! Told you not to ram into me. Hey there, Lucas. I was just talking about old times with Isaac. He's an important guy nowadays, you know? I don't know if everyone is gathering here in the city or if they're being being gathered instead. But if you're here, Lucas, that means everyone really is here now. <clears throat> Lucas, you're the dear and charming guest that Master Porky is looking for? No, it's me, Isaac. I'm a big shot now. But Lucas, I didn't know you were anyone special. If you do anything to defy Master Porky, then you and me will be enemies. Welcome. I know you're from the sticks, but you should buy some of the sophisticated goods that new pork has to offer. What? According to my research, stink bugs appear to possess a terrific capacity for memorization. I'd love to study them to find out even more, but they're just so stinky. Apparently there's some kind of stinky smelly bug in the theater. Maybe I should just blow this popsicle stand. Oh, well, Lucas, are you looking for something? Whenever you're not really sure what to do, the theater's the best place to go. Yep. Oh, you're here too, Lucas. I guess everyone from Tazmali is here now. Everyone. Ah, welcome. Do you want to find something?
Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, that was bound to happen at some point, I guess. Damn it. Yeah, a ribbon and frying pan for Paula. And apparently a stink bug is stuck inside and snuck up the place. I hate having to kill those things. It. Whenever you guys do something, earthquakes and tremors and stuff happen. What in the world do you guys do? Stink bugs stink up the place wherever they go. You know, like these seats. Some of them smell bad. Your guy's leader is locked up in an apartment building underground. Huh? You don't know nothing about no leader. But your leader wants to see you. I am putting myself at risk to tell you this, and you are. You honestly don't know the guy? Let me see. So you really don't know about him? I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to meet him without knowing who he is or something. He definitely wants to meet you guys, though. The leader's being held at, at the NT Apartments. But you gotta go through the sewers to get there. It's now a breeding ground for violent attackers, stink bugs, rats, and stuff. So you could probably find your way there by following a stink bug or something. The only problem is they smell really, really nasty. I'm talking major stinkage here. Hey, it's Tessie. <clears throat> a stink bug? Yeah, I saw one earlier. Where could it have gone? Some people say that if you take a big whiff of the stink bug smell, your memory will improve. That's true. I'd sniff one without a second thought. Ah, that hole in the speaker leads directly into the sewer system. Absolutely unbelievable. So that's why this theater stinks to high heaven. It even looks like stink bugs use it to come and go as they please. At first glance, the protectionist appears to be an old man. But he's actually a figure made out of clay and dough. Uh, it's well crafted. At first glance, it seems like this might be a movie-loving boy named Toto or something. But he's actually just a figure made out of clay and dough, holding a bucket. You get the feeling you've seen it somewhere before. Okay, so I know where to go. Oh, what? My granddaughter is always by my side. I'm so thankful. I love her. <clears throat> I love her more than my daughter. Grandma didn't really want to leave Tasman. I, I'm not sure, honestly, if it's a reference. But everyone else left to come here, so... coming here. Please, don't cause any more trouble. So he finally came too, Lucas. Miss Flint's still looking for his missing son. If only he'd come to me for serious help, we might have been able to find him. He's an awkward fellow, that father of yours. 
This is the Empire of Porky building, home of the great Master Porky. Has anyone ever seen Mr. Porky before? How old do you think he is? He must be amazing to build a city like this. Oh yeah, item deposit guy. <clears throat> that statue of Master Porky looks a lot like a kid, don't you think? What do you think's up with that? Service repairs in progress. I mean, they probably were, I just don't know what they were referenced to. I mean, look, I'll go talk to the statue again, but I don't think you can fight it. does that speaker seems to lead into the sewers. Go through it. It would be a bit difficult for people to fit through this. Oh, damn it. Well, now the dog's gone. Oh, now I can go through. How about that? No, we can't. You can't go in through there. Eh, where was it again? I seem to recall there being an entrance somewhere, but it was someplace stupid. Ah, and that there was a ladder going down, and that I used to work part-time there a long time ago. I can't remember. Hmm. I 
I've been hearing a dog whimpering for a while. I'm gonna get somewhere right below us. I can't go check it out though. The reason being that I'm afraid of dogs. No, seriously, their noses are wet. They wag their tails, they lick people's faces. I totally can't handle that. So could you go look for the dog instead? Really? You must like dogs then. So you go look for me? Yeah, I'll open this heavy cover. Putting myself at major risk though. I'll open the sewer entrance for you. Here goes nothing. Cool. He must be nearby. Metal attack roach. Okay. That's a lot. Sounds like he's to the left now. What? How is that a back attack?
Oh, those take no damage from that. To the, okay, you know what, we're just gonna... This narrow dark hole appears to lead into the movie theater. Eh, no. I haven't really figured out how these things move yet.
I don't believe you. I don't think they move with their legs at all. Uh, psychic power is obvious one. Pulling on this rope would probably be extremely dangerous. I chased after a strange smelling bug and somehow wound up here. But never mind that, look what's in this room! Yes, it's me, leader, the bell ringer. It must be a real shock to hear me speaking for once. It wasn't that I couldn't talk all this time. I simply chose not to. As I rang that crossroad bell deep inside my heart, I had decided I would speak to no one. But the secrets I've been guarding are now starting to leak out. Lucas, well, the time has come to tell you everything. What I'm about to tell you, you might not want to know. Even so, you absolutely must hear it. It will be a long story, but please listen to it all. This has been a text-heavy one. <clears throat> Given who you are and how you've lived, what I have to say will tear at your hearts. But there's just so much to tell. So I've decided to have the stink bug trembling behind me memorize everything I say. Ready, Mr. Stink Bug? Long ago, there existed a world. A world different from what the people on these islands think of. This world was incredibly big. More people lived on this world than there are grains of sand on these nowhere islands. I know it may be hard to imagine, but such a world once existed. Understand? At some point, the world wound up destroyed. Naturally, it was humans who destroyed it. In the back of their minds, everyone had an inkling that it would happen at some point. And then it really did happen. And so, the world is no more. Everything so far has been about the end of the world. 
Do you understand all of it? Just before the end of the world, a white ship came to these islands. On it were all the people of Tasmali village. Yes, aboard the white ship were those few who had managed to escape the world. The people on the ship still went by their names from the previous world. The white ship plan had been set in place before the world was destroyed. And although they're part of the world, these nowhere islands are a special place. They were the one place that would remain even if the world was lost. The one and only place where people could survive. And so the white ship arrived at these islands. Everything so far has been about the white ship. Do you understand all of it? Have you committed everything so far to memory, Mr. Stinkbug? The reason these islands are special is because they harbor a giant dragon nearly as large as the islands themselves. Long, long ago, people lived together with the dragon. <clears throat> However, at some point in time, the people and the dragon could no longer coexist. So, using the seven needles, the dragon was placed into a long, long sleep by the ancestors of the Majipsi people who have lived here since ancient times. Ever since, the Majipsis have guarded the needles in an effort to prevent the dragon from being woken until its power is truly needed. Thus, until the time of its awakening, the dragon continued to sleep as the power of the earth itself. And so, because of the tremendous energy of the dragon hidden deep below, these islands were protected from the end of the world. Everything so far has been about the dragon and the Majipsis. Did you understand all of it? Those who came here aboard the white ship feared another end of the world more than anything else. They felt that the world's destruction was a direct result of the way they had lived. The people of the white ship discussed things at great length. They shared their wisdom and spoke with grave seriousness. And then they arrived at their conclusion. They decided to completely erase everyone's memories of the previous world and start their lives over with new rules and new roles. Yes, in short, everyone would play out the ideal story that they had come up with. That's what happened. The people would restart their lives in a simple, peaceful village in the kind of place they wished they had grown up in. They would erase their memory of everything. The world, their belonging, belongings, their rules, and then they would begin their new lives. Everyone's old memories would be reset and replaced with their newly created story. And thus the village of Tasmali came to be. However, it was necessary to record the fact that the memory replacement had taken place. The hummingbird egg was the device used to store the memories of the white ship people. Wes and his son Duster, both playing the roles of thieves, were set to take action should a dangerous situation occur. Remember when they went to Asohi Castle? They went there to retrieve the secret of the people of the white ship. And there's one other thing. Me. Uh, it was essential that one person retain memory of the previous world to sort of keep watch over things. I was the only one in the village of Tasmali who wasn't given a role in the news story. The sound of my bell served as a suggestion to keep everyone's fabricated memories from reverting. My name, Leader, comes from the word leader. No, no, that doesn't mean I was anyone special. It was just that I was particularly taller than all the others. So, upon discussion, I was selected because it, was, it would be easier for me to stand out. Being so tall, people would want to come see me, you know? And so I was given the role of revealing these secrets when the time truly called for it. 
Everything so far has been about those who lost everything. Although Tasmuli Village exists in reality, it was originally created as part of a story. I know this might be difficult to believe, but do you understand so far? Let me also talk about Asohi Castle. Apparently, long ago, a kingdom existed on this island, centered around the King of Asohi. However, when we arrived on the white ship, the people of this kingdom were gone. It seems they had left the islands, fearing the dragon's eventual awakening someday. Before boarding the white ship, Princess Kumatora was an infant who had lost her mother and father. Upon coming to these islands, she was given to the Majipsis to raise, and given the role of Princess of Hosohi Castle. Wes and Duster being her retainers was another part of the fabricated story. Asohi Castle is one of the few and precious relics of this island's past. We crafted our story in haste, so the people inside it have very little past or history. Have you noticed no one in Tasmali can talk about things from a hundred or a thousand years ago? In truth, we had wanted to create an entire plethora of myths and legends. But our story was made in such a hurry that we weren't able to. It's a real shame. Why did Bronson choose to be a dick? I'm sure that much of what I'm saying you'd rather not hear, but it's the truth. Have you listened to everything so far? Have you committed everything so far to memory, Mr. Stinkbug? <clears throat> Truthfully, we had no idea how Tasmali Village would turn out. But things actually went rather well. The people who had arrived on the white ship had fully taken to their new identities. They believed they had always lived together peacefully. It was when a person by the name of Porky stumbled upon these islands that everything started to go amok. It seems he used a time distorter machine to travel through time and space at will. However, he was apparently shut out from all other times and spaces and tumbled into this era in these islands. Even worse, he used his time distorter to bring many people from other eras here. The pig masks, as well as everyone in New Pork City, were all brought here and brainwashed by Porky. This Porky fellow seems to view these islands as his own personal toy box, with which he can do anything he wants. He would take animals apart and recombine them to make creepy new chimeras. As a childlike dictator, he began doing whatever he pleased, including bringing Thunder Tower to... Shoot, I missed it. Porky eventually learned that Porky eventually learned the white ship secret because of a traitor among the Majipsis. Do you understand about the intruder known as Porky? This traitor was Locria, the seventh Majipsi, and the only one you haven't met yet. After Locria joined forces with Porky, Porky learned about the white ship people and the secret of the sleeping dragon. Porky decided to pull the needles to wake the dragon, so he could use the power for himself. The dragon is the power of the very earth itself, you see. It's said that whoever pulls the sealing needles will become the dragon's master. However, only a very select few are capable of pulling the dragon's needles. Apparently, neither the Majipsis nor Porky have that capability. Yet the needles are being pulled now. That means Porky is somehow controlling someone who can control the dragon's power. We have to put a stop to Porky's antics. If we don't, the world will be completely destroyed again, and it will spell the true end for everything. For Porky, that might be the ultimate pleasure, but we can't allow it to happen. We, the last handful of people there are, absolutely can't allow it to happen. Lucas. It seems that you're a chosen one with the ability to pull the needle sealing the dragon away. You must pull the dark dragon's needle with your own hands and pass your heart on to the dragon. Let this be my one and only order to you as your leader. Do you understand everything about the dragon's awakening? 
I hear that six of the dragon's needles have been pulled already. Deep in the earth, the dragon is likely beginning to stir from its sleep now. Supposedly, the last needle is somewhere here in New Pork City. Porky has been gathering everything that lives on these islands into New Pork City to prepare for the final needles pulling. <clears throat> it's possible that he's planning to hold one final twisted party. But now is our chance to change this looming crisis into a golden opportunity. All things may come to an end, or new and bountiful things may begin. Wouldn't you like to help that happen? Lucas, you were once a weak, fragile boy, but now you've, begin, you've been given a tremendous role to fulfill. Now that you know everything, including everything I'm sure you'd rather not know, the time has come for you to save the future of all life as we know it. God won't make you bear more than you can carry. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. No, you aren't fighting alone. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, will lend you their support. That was a long story, but that is the end of everything I have to tell you. Do you understand it all? Only the Gypsies really know the Needles locations, so I don't know where to find them. But from the way Porky and the others have been acting, I would say they're now very close to reaching the Seventh Needle. Please, Lucas. Be the one who pulls the final needle. Porky issues his orders from the hundredth floor of the Empire Porky building. Start by jumping into the fray and storming the building. After that, you can start looking for clues. It's been such a long time since I've spoken to anyone, and now I'm exhausted. The stink bug should remember everything I've just said. Take him with you. That way, if you happen to forget anything I've said here, you can ask him to repeat it. If battle goes well, I'm sure I'll regain my freedom, just as everyone else will. <clears throat> Be confident in yourself and go forth. those for giggles. I want to see what they look like. Those do actually substantial damage. That's good. Hey, Brain Shark Omega.
I, you know, I, um, I had managed to forget that this monstrosity existed, and the game forces me to see it again. I don't appreciate this. That's one neh, and eight heh. Pleasure it is to see you again. No way. Long time no see, Facade says. I say <laughs> to you, for I will now give you thoroughly destructive damage, he goes on to say. I have been remade into an incredible, fiercely powerful and dangerous ultimate weapon. Therefore, I will absolutely, unquestionably be victorious over you, is what Facade says. What's more? I will put an end to your tail. I will give you damage. And then provide you with even more damage. Until you are soundly defeated. Is what Facade says. Now then. Here I come. Facade is not ready to fight. Here he comes. <clears throat> God. Oh. God. Jesus. Okay, let's, let's fucking go. Damn it. 
I noticed that, yeah. No! That's enough. <clears throat> I don't like the bombs attack. I wonder if he counts as mechanical. Hmm, oh well. 
That is an amazing damage. Not really worth it. <laughs> Some of the horns are gone. Oh no. Less okay. Also, not okay.
Was I not supposed to hit that guy with a sign attack? Yeah, I just won. Oh, I will not translate this part. The reason being that these are not words, but simple sounds. You have bested me, kind sirs. Actually, no, you did not bust me. You are merely detestable. I am sick of all of this fighting. Very extremely sick of it. This is all just a game. You could call it Master Porky's game. <clears throat> you people are still stuck inside the game. As for me, I may have been removed from it. But I am still not sure. The flames of my life are in danger now. I do not think we will ever meet again. And not just in battle is what Fassat states. He also adds in a very faint voice. <laughs> Fassad is not going to pummel. I'm an interpreter, but now that Fassad is gone, I am no longer needed. Please do not chase after me. Goodbye. You found the dog? Good for you. Burgers are especially tough to eat. It's like everything slides around and everything, don't you agree? Like, it makes me wonder why girls always order avocado burgers and stuff. Is that a thing? Hey, do you know the secret to girls? You don't know? How old are you? Drag to get along. Girls, you see, like, like guys, they can count on. Do you got what it takes to be like that? You idiot. Think about it on your own. Think about if you have what it takes or not. Come on, quit it. Stop asking the questions. I told you, think about it on your own. Inside your head. Hmm, cops. I'm busy. Guess who else? Police have police things that keep them busy. I, you know what, actually, I think I'm going to call it here. I think that was a good stretch. We got a couple of big boss fights down, and... 
we, I think, are pretty close to the end as well. I don't know for sure, but like we're in chapter eight. I know there's, I know there's eight chapters total. I don't know how much more is in this chapter, but it certainly feels like we're getting really close. So I don't know if it'll be one more time or, or two, but I think, I think not much longer. So thanks for joining. Save it. Yeah. Okay. Y'all have a good one.